In this video, we're going to take you through the Coinbase wallet and we'll take you through a full beginner's guide showing you how to set up your Coinbase wallet, transfer crypto into your wallet, buy crypto, swap, bridge between different networks, send and receive, access to centralized applications. Plus, we're also going to take you through the Coinbase wallet browser extension. For more information on the Coinbase wallet, please check out everybithelps.io. First up though, a little bit about the Coinbase wallet and what it is. So the Coinbase wallet is a secure, non-custodial wallet that offers a range of features to help you manage your crypto and NFTs all in one place. With the wallet being non-custodial, it means that you have complete control over your cryptocurrencies with access to your private keys, which Coinbase does not have access to. As I'm sure you can tell by the name, it was developed by Coinbase, which is one of the most trusted names in the cryptocurrency industry. The wallet is available as a mobile app or browser extension and allows you to securely store, manage and trade your crypto. With the Coinbase wallet, you can also interact with decentralized applications, which are also known as dApps, and you can seamlessly connect your wallet. You don't have to have a Coinbase account to use the Coinbase wallet app, but if you do, you can link your Coinbase account to your wallet to easily buy and access your crypto. So let's jump in and take a look. The Coinbase wallet is available on mobile from the App Store or Google Play. Plus, as I said, there's also a browser extension, which I'm going to show you at the end of the tutorial. Today, I'm using an iPhone, so I'm going to search for Coinbase wallet on the App Store. And then download and install from there. Once that's complete and you've opened up the app, you can either create a new wallet or import an existing one using I already have one. If, for example, you have a new phone. For now, I'm going to create a new wallet. You're then going to be prompted to back up your wallet with a recovery phrase. Just be aware you should never share this information with anyone. And if you do, they're going to have full control over your crypto and all of your funds. So you're also going to need to make sure that you store these safely somewhere. And you can copy these to the clipboard and back up your recovery phrase either via iCloud or manually. Plus, you'll need to agree to the terms and the privacy policy. And to protect your wallet, you can add an extra level of security and implement Face ID or create passcode. And Coinbase also offer a username for your address. As they state here, remembering your wallet address is easier if you have a username instead. And you can claim one from here by entering in a unique username for your address. And you then need to choose whether or not you want that to be public so that others can search for you by username. Once that's all complete, you'll then reach the Coinbase wallet. Now for the moment, we're on the Assets tab, which you can see from the bottom of the screen. This is where we can view our Coinbase wallet username at the very top. And we can find our wallet addresses too, by choosing the copy icon, which looks like a few sheets of paper. You'll then see your Ethereum and Solana address, which you can copy. Plus you can also scan a QR code, and view any notifications. There's the wallet balance underneath and quick links to buy, which allows you to buy or transfer from Coinbase, which is what we're gonna look at in a moment, or receive, where you'll find a list of wallet addresses for Ethereum, Solana, Bitcoin, plus some other assets such as Litecoin. And again, you can copy your address. Plus, there's also currently a promotion where you can get a free NFT when you add ETH to your wallet. And you have the option to fund your wallet, which supports 4,000 different tokens. I'm going to go ahead and fund now. So this is where you can either transfer from Coinbase or buy. This way, if you don't already have any crypto to send to your Coinbase wallet, you can buy some using Coinbase.com. As it states here, Coinbase is a separate service that lets you buy crypto. And you can connect up your Coinbase account from here or sign up for one. Now, if you don't already have a Coinbase account, there will be a link in the summary which will give you a Bitcoin bonus. Plus, I've also got some tutorials and beginner's guides available for Coinbase to get you started. I've already got a Coinbase account, which I'm going to connect now. To connect, you're going to need to authorize the fact that Coinbase will be able to access your account information, buy crypto, get other permissions and send crypto from your account. 
and this will apply to all of your different crypto accounts on Coinbase. And we'll then need to choose the crypto that we want to transfer from Coinbase from the list of assets, or we have the option to buy a new asset. When you buy a new asset, you simply choose it from the list, and I'm going to choose ETH in this example. Then you choose the method of how you want to pay, and the different options available from here will vary depending on your location. I've got a small GBP balance, which I'm going to use now as an example. So say I want to buy £5 of ETH. If I preview my buy, here it shows the price I'm paying, what I'm paying with, where the crypto is going to be sent to, which is obviously my Coinbase wallet. Then it shows a network. And in here, I can choose the network to send my ETH on. And this includes Ethereum and then also Optimism and Polygon which could potentially save you money from bridging your tokens when network fees are generally high, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. And you'll also find that sending your crypto on the likes of Optimism and Polygon are cheaper than Ethereum, but it will depend on the network that you want your tokens on. When you're happy, you can just confirm. However, I'm not going to go ahead with that. I'm going to transfer my Ethereum from Coinbase. So if I press onto that, It'll then show my balance in USD, which is 2702. And I can then enter the amount that I want to send. Now, if you were to type in that you want to send $27, you'll actually get an error back stating that it exceeds the funds available. Although this isn't the case, as you can see from my balance, you'll actually need to factor in the price that you'll need to pay for this transaction to be sent, as sending your crypto isn't free. So if I enter in $25 instead, and preview my send. Here you'll see a preview of the transaction, which is that I'm sending ETH to my Coinbase wallet. It then shows the network that it's sending on, which again can be changed to alternative networks, and the fees are applicable. Now there isn't a Coinbase fee, but there is a network fee which is charged by the miners of the crypto network, and that's 86 cents right now. And as I said, these can also be reduced when changing networks too. So the actual amount now is $25.89, and when you're happy, you can then confirm. And if you have any two-factor authentication set up on your account, you're also going to be prompted to enter that in. And as it states here, the transaction will take less than 10 minutes. So now fast forward some time, and let's head back to our Coinbase wallet, where we now see that our balance has increased at the top of the screen. Plus the Ethereum that we sent across to this wallet is now appearing under crypto. When we press on to that, it shows the current Ethereum price and how that has changed. There's a price chart here, my balance of Ethereum, some quick links, and the history, which is where I sent that crypto. Then underneath, there's some information about Ethereum and some stats. And it would look exactly the same for any type of crypto that you hold within your wallet. Now, if we just head back to our asset screen again, by pressing the back arrow at the top of the screen, you'll see that you can also store your NFTs in your wallet too. And you can click onto their link to learn more and it will show you how to buy NFTs or how you can earn crypto using decentralized applications. Just taking a look at the quick links at the top now. So if we choose buy, that's going to link us back to Coinbase where we can buy new assets as I showed you earlier. Swap allows you to swap from one cryptocurrency to another. And you can trade more than 18,000 tokens on the Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, BNB, Solana and Optimism networks. Just be aware though that you will need to have some of that network's token to be able to swap and pay for the fees. For example, on the Binance Smart Chain you're going to need BNB tokens and Solana you're going to need some SOL. And you just enter in the amount that you'd want to swap, choose an asset you want to swap to and then choose find best price. And Coinbase will then go away and search and return the best price according to the different sources. It also displays a slippage tolerance, which means that your order will execute within 3% of the quoted price or it will cancel it. The Coinbase fee here, which is included in your price, and the estimated network fee, which as you can see right now is pretty high. So you may find that this won't be the cheapest way to swap your tokens. I personally recommend using an exchange such as Binance instead, where you can pay a lot lower fees when trading between different tokens. But this is convenient with having them right within your wallet. And if you had tokens on another network, you'd probably find that the swap to be a lot cheaper. 
Next up, we have the bridge. So if you have crypto that you want to move across from one network to another, you can use the service, such as having tokens on Ethereum and wanting to move those across to the Polygon network. And you just type in the amount that you'd like to bridge and choose next. And it will list the fees that you're going to need to pay. Depending on the network, again, this could be high. In fact, you may be better off just buying your crypto within this Coinbase wallet and buying it on the network that you want your crypto on, as the fees will be lower this way. Next is the option to send. If you have crypto in the wallet and you want to send that externally, choose this option, and you'll then need to enter the amount, the token that you want to send, and choose next. It will then ask you to enter a recipient, and you can enter in a wallet address into here, an ENS or username. Or alternatively, you can also scan a QR code. So I might want to send this crypto to an exchange like Binance. And I would simply copy the deposit address for the crypto that I want to send. And in this example, that's Ethereum. And then paste it into here. And again, you're going to see a preview and the fees that you're going to be paying for sending your crypto. And when you're happy, you can confirm. Then finally, you have receive, which is where you can find your wallet addresses or usernames for all the different assets that are supported. So that's the assets tab covered. Next, let's click on to transactions. And this is where you can find any transactions that you've made within your wallet. And currently that just includes the crypto that I sent into my wallet. And it shows full details of that, along with any fees that you've paid. Then we have the DAP browser. In here, you can connect your wallet to some top DAPs, such as the likes of One Inch for swaps, or under Earn, there's the likes of Aave. And when you select one of these, your wallet will then automatically connect to the platform. On the Explore tab, you can create watch lists of tokens and get price alerts. Plus, you can also track token prices and check out some trending NFT collections. Under your settings in the far bottom right, you'll have your profile. And in here, you can also add and manage wallets. If you want to add a wallet, at the time of this recording, they only support Ethereum and Solana. You can also access your recovery phrase if you need to do so again. Change the appearance or currency, show and hide balances, or access their help center. So that was the wallet. But as I said, they also do have a browser extension. So I'm going to quickly show you that now. The Coinbase wallet extension is currently available to download for Chrome. And you can get the extension from the Chrome store. Where you can then add to Chrome, add the extension. And to view it on your toolbar, you may need to pin it by clicking onto the puzzle icon on the toolbar here. Then pinning beside Coinbase wallet extension. Now that that's appearing, when we click onto it, again, you can create a new wallet or state here that you already have one. And you can either enter in a recovery phrase, you can connect up a ledger hardware wallet, then use the wallet as a middleman, similar to how MetaMask works. Or you can simply link this to your wallet app, which is what I'm gonna do now. And in this way, you can approve transactions on your mobile phone rather than a browser. As it states, this does only work with your Ethereum address. If we continue, you'll then need to open your Coinbase wallet app and use the QR code scanner at the top of the app and scan the code. Then just allow for Coinbase to connect to crypto apps and send your request for transactions. Once that's all done, your wallet will then be connected to the extension. And from here, you'll see that the extension just mirrors the app, showing your balance and quick links the transactions from your app. Plus we can connect it to the likes of decentralized apps such as One Inch, where you'll need to connect, select the network, choose the Coinbase wallet and connect. Then your Coinbase wallet will be connected to the platform. So that now completes your full beginner's guide to the Coinbase wallet. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.